Right guys, welcome back to another full day of eating. I haven't done one of these in a while, so thought I'd kind of take you through today's food. Today's a training day. Uh, macros to start us off. Training day, 5,140. Rest day, I think it's just over 5,000. I know both days are over 5,000, um, but this is what we're dealing with today. On high days, it goes up to about 6,000 um, because I have an off-plan meal and there's a you know, a few more carbs dragged in um, during training um, and post-workout and pre-workout. <laughs> so gets us up to about 6,000 calories. But we're gonna go through meal one. Um, this is what I start the day with after training. Um, so we are gonna have 140 grams of Frosties uh, with 47 grams of whey. Um, that is li literally it. But I'm glad I've kind of got that dialed down post-workout because I can add add more food to it when food goes up so I can easily have a double the portion or adding like bagels and stuff to it I can do uh, that as well so as well I'll take my morning supplements as well so at the moment I'm using the support support um, supplement needs supplement needs um, health stack so you've got the liver stack um, heart stack and What's the other one? Come on, Henry. Um, Astrag flow as well. Um, two servings of cod liver oil, because we want to in increase that. Um, what else we got? Tell Sartin. Um, Arimidex, which I just do on Mondays. Um, got a Digest Farmer in there. Vitamin D. I think that's it. Proviron. And that is it. That's it. We're also going to go through an unboxing as well. Um, I'm not sponsored by these, but this just arrived in the post today, so I thought it would be good timing to kind of go through this as well, because I think it ties into the full day of eating and everything as well, so I think it is, so if I know what it is, so let's go through this. I did just make an order with these as well last night, because they, they had their clo new clothing drop, April drop, so got a few bits off them. And if you can guess what it is, if you can guess what it is, put it in the comments below who it's from. So, let me get rid of that. So, it's only a little small order, but trained by JP. Um, greens to start us off. So, I have these fasted every morning, one scoop. Again, when food's low, sorry, when food's high, when food's high, vegetables, fruits and vegetables kind of get dismissed. You can get into a habit of not having them. Um, I try not to, I try to have it when I can, um, but at the end of the day, the main things we want to focus on in an off-season when pushing food up, protein, carbs and fats. So, having a veggie, um, greens in the morning, you know, one scoop down the hatch on a fasted stomach is going to help just get all the, you know, minerals, vitamins that we need throughout the day. Digestion-wise, glutamine, big product that I've used. Um, I'm using at the moment um, 10 grams of glutamine every morning fasted again. That literally goes in my green shake. Um, really good for obviously gut digestion, preparing the body for the food for the day and everything like that. And then my other digestion product, which I've used, been using now since November, um, Digest Pharma Pro. Very, very good. Um, I've seen, well, what I haven't seen is any digestive issues. So and I'm on over 5,000 calories. So that seems to me is working pretty well. All these kind of combined together um, really are helping. Um, just keep me level playing field throughout the day. You don't get any bloating for any meals. Um, I take these twice a day, one in the morning with my meal one and one with my meal six. Uh, you do have to take it with like a, a high protein meal. Obviously any meal, if you're bodybuilding, you know, food's high, any meal will do for that. I just like to do it with my first and last meal. So I'm kind of going to bed to, with one and, and first meal. Obviously, it kind of shocks the body. So get one in with that as well. Um, so that's a little order from Trained by JP. A little stock up on digestive stuff, which is always fun. So what we'll go through today, um, take you through what my meals are. Meals one to six. Um, I've got a few bits to do now, a bit of work. Uh, I need to shower, eat this meal, get meal two in. And then we're actually going to the gym because we've got a shift in the gym um, for the rest of the day and this evening. So 
um, I'll be there for having my having my other meals and home for my last meal. Um, so that's kind of how today's planning out. Some client check-ins. Uh, if you didn't already know, I've started to bring my coaching up a bit more. Um, so I'm coaching a few more other people. Um, just want to kind of try and transition into more of that. Honestly, just because I enjoy it. I enjoy seeing progression in other people. I enjoy helping people in terms of training because I the love I have the love, the love I have for training um, is big. So I, I like to push it on other people, and you know if I can help people improve their training, improve their form and execution, and um, give them more knowledge in terms of training, then I want to do that. So and it's always going to help progress them if they want to compete. If they don't want to compete, if they just want to train and love bodybuilding, that's great. You know, just finding other people who are passionate about bodybuilding. It's nice to talk to you on a daily basis. It doesn't really feel like I'm coaching them. It's, you know, it just feels like we're having a, a really good chat about bodybuilding, and um, obviously the coaching process goes along with that, uh, which I enjoy. So, if you are interested in any coaching or want to ask me a few more questions about it, um, drop us a message on Instagram Henry Taylor, or drop in the comments below here. Uh, we can have a chat about where you want to go. Um, if I can help out at all, and see if we can smash some goals together so we're going to get this meal down take my supplements go and have a shower and then i'll see you for meal number two meal number two it's currently like quarter to one which is kind of like normal time that i have meal two uh, just pan frying some beef up now so meal two is kind of like breakfast um it's my egg meal an egg and oats meal um normally i'd have chicken sausage um, but they ran out, they didn't have any yesterday in the shop, so if I don't have chicken sausage, I'll go for beef mince. Um, so 80 grams of raw weight beef mince, 5%. Um, I'll do half an avocado and three eggs as well with one bagel. So that's kind of like my egg meal, um, three whole eggs that is. I basically put the pan fry the beef up first, uh, put your three eggs in kind of semi scrambled them um, on like a lower sheet and then chop up my avocado and throw that in as well. It's actually really nice. Um, have that on a bagel with some HP sauce um, and then I've actually already done my oats um, which is 120 grams of oats, um, 40 grams of jam and 25 grams of raisins with some cinnamon. Um, that's just my oats there, so two little bits for the meal um, today, which is, well, that's every day, but every training day. Um, and then that will go down. My next meal, in terms of meal timings, um, I usually do like half 12, one o'clock for meal two. Meal three is three o'clock. Um, meal four is about five, six. Uh, meal five, about eight o'clock, last meal about nine, half nine. Um, I don't really mind having my last meal kind of straight before bed. Um, I leave, I try and leave like a half an hour before bed um, just to digest um, my last meal and so I can sleep better. But uh, I don't really mind having it close because I'm training in the morning. I like to have it close anyway. Um, if I was going to have my last meal like eight, I think I'd be hungry during training. So that's kind of how my meal's going. Um, salt wise, I always weigh out my soul if you've seen my Instagram. Um, I do eight grams of pink Himalayan salt and five grams of low sodium salt. And then I just spread that across my six meals. So yeah, that's meal two. I'll show you the finished product once, we, once we're done. Um, but yeah. So at the gym now, uh, meal three, it's about half three right, right now. Um, pretty simple meal I have every single day. 150 grams uncooked jasmine rice, which is about 450 cooked jasmine rice, um, two fillets of cod, which is about 45 to 50 grams of protein. There's no, absolutely zero fat in this, probably you know one or two grams of fat from the rice, that's about it. Um, and then some just garden peas, ketchup, got my salt in there as well. Uh, so this is meal number three. Very, very simple meal. Great, time for a, uh, another meal. Um, meal four going down. So after this one, got two more meals to go. It is about half five right now. 
Um, so, um, beef, as you can probably see, 150 grams dry weight rice, 450 grams cooked, uh, two beef burgers, which are the 5% beef burgers, um, which I got from Sainsbury's actually. So, um, yeah, 5% beef burgers, garden peas, Dormio sauce, pretty good to be fair. Um, I found these burgers and I was using like the mince before the 5% mince and just got the burgers since I increased my mince to 200 gram. Um, each burger's 200 grams, so I just, no. Um, half a pack is 200 grams, so they're each like 120 grams per burger. Um, so yeah, just to add these in for my beef meal. Um, next one's a chicken meal. I've just probably seen protein sources throughout the day have been different. Um, so my first one was the just whey protein with my cereal. Second one was eggs. Third one was fish. This one's beef. Next one's chicken. Last one is whey protein again. So a good variety of proteins going in, which I like to do just in terms of keeping digestion fresh, keeping appetite good, because I'm actually quite hungry for this meal now, because um, it's just a different beef meal. Um, and just making sure that I'm hitting different protein sources throughout the day. Um, good variety of foods is good to have in your diet, especially when food's high, you can't do every meal. You can't do five and a half thousand calories worth of chicken and rice. You would get very bored very quickly if you're doing it every single day. And I still have this like day of food every training day and have done for years, but I still don't get sick of it because every meal is slightly different in some way. So I'm gonna nail this down now and then get on to um, my next meal, which will be about seven half seven so we'll see you then right meal number five going down it's about eight o'clock now same tupperware meal 150 jasmine rice uncooked so 450 cooked uh 250 grams raw weight chicken um and then about 16 gram of cashew nuts uh for the fats so protein carbs fat spread across this meal um so yeah gonna get this meal in Got like an hour left in the gym and then go home for the last meal of the day which will be like half nine quarter to ten and then we've got pull tomorrow so get a good night's sleep pull in the morning so just had meal six so i'm not gonna show you i'm tired um meal six was 120 grams of oats 40 grams of jam 14 grams of peanut butter um frozen berries 50 grams of whey, all in the shake. I'm doing my that oats um, meal all in the shake at the moment, just just from appetite, just to get it down. To be honest, um, and it doesn't really, I don't really get any, I don't get any sort of digestion discomfort from it or anything like that. It doesn't impact body weight um, really. Um, it's something I've always done in the off season when food gets high with that last oat shake. So, and then I had um, one square bar. The orange one and i actually had because i only had one of those usually I have two because tomorrow's a high day so high day protocol pre-workout is an extra 50 gram of carbs so that is 25 gram of carbs my other 25 gram of carbs um i found some madeira cake um in the cupboard um so i had about 90 grams of that which is about 25 gram of carbs literally just straight carbs it's got the same amount of fat in as a squares bar five grams um, so that's kind of what I just had, um, and then I'm going to go to bed, bed now. Um, had my PM subs as well, which was again the supplement needs health stack, the Digest Pharma Pro, and half a tab of metformin. I'm going to go to bed. The time is half ten, so get to bed. Hopefully, get be asleep by alone. Shower, bed, pull in the morning. Um, be back at the gym at six. Um, and then we just repeat the process. So yeah, I've actually filmed every meal today, which was good. Hope you guys enjoyed it. That was 5,140 calories all done today. Um, fairly simple, really. And just a standard bodybuilding meals, really, to be honest. But it is what it is. That is the reality. When food's high, you want to keep it simple. Like I said earlier in the day, keep your proteins, you know, the variety of proteins, um, throughout the day different um same with carbs really um you don't have too much rice 
um, and you don't want every meal to be bagels or anything. So, you know, switch in, switch out, different things. Um, and uh, yeah, we'll wrap that up. So I'm going to bed. Thank you guys for watching. See you on the next video.